Well, it's our final report for August of 2015. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Bittersweet, we're approaching the end of the summer. I say it's bittersweet because even though we end the summer, we start with probably the best time of year here along the shore, and that's September and the September run. The fluke are on the move right now. They're heading east. We get them coming west in the spring, and now they're on their way out to their offshore grounds, but it's a great time to ambush them at those inlets because that's where they're going to be. They're starting to uh, pack up, and they're looking for those uh, peanut bunker, finger mullet, there's some snapper blues in the back, and also some squid around as well. But um, Natalie Albowitz, she was in Brigantine Channel earlier this week, caught a nice fluke brought in to Absecon Sportsman in Absecon, New Jersey. Little Egg, Beach Haven Inlet, all the inlets are holding some of these fish. They're kind of tight lipped sometimes, but you got to get on them. Put the bait down. Fred brought this nice one in to Allen's Dock in New Gretna earlier this week, so yes, the fish are there. We get a report from Paul at Gates Bait and Tackle up in Point. He says, to concentrate on fluking along the slower portions of the tide. That's been working in Manasquan Inlet. Matthew Hedrick here, he had a 3.9 pounder. Follow the advice from the pros, that always works. Um, that's what helped me. I was out with fisherman subscribers Charlie Parker and Dave Lilly at the end of last week. These guys are always on the Dreamboat leaderboard, always catching big fluke. I said, I, show me, tell me what you're doing. We got out heavy south winds. These guys found the fish. This is Charlie with an eight and a half pounder. We actually released this one. Almost argued with him about it, but these guys catch a lot of big fish. That was up on the Raritan. Uh, we did keep a 20 and a 21 incher for the table, but the big fish are there. You just gotta put in your time, get them, and be there when they're chewing. That's the ticket. That's the whole thing about fishing. It's not catching, it's fishing. The guys in Delaware seem to be doing a lot of catching, however. Nobody's complaining. The Delaware fleet has been doing really well with the summer flounder all summer long, um, doing a number of the flatties. Here's one, 40 fish up to six pounds. They were caught at the buoy line. It was Captain Brett out of Lewis Harbor. So I never see those Delaware Bay guys complaining, but you got just got to put your time in there and keep going at them. We have until September 26. Get out there and get them. Hector here was a headline in this week's edition, the September edition of the Fisherman Magazine. 11.8 pounds. He caught this one from the tea jetty in Atlantic City. He was using that fluke candy that you hear so darn much about. Stop into one stop, bait and tackle in Atlantic City, get the fluke candy, work those jetties because the big fish are there. And of course, we're into that time of year where we've got other bay options as well in the back bays. You can go out with a chum pot and catch any number of fish, uh, small blues, you get some kingfish, and the puppy drum as well. Um, Dave at Absecon Bay caught this little puppy drum in the back bay and uh, this is perfect time of year. Get the kids before you, they have to go back to school. Get them while you can. Get out and do some of that chum pot fishing. Um, bluefish chasing baits, they're all over the place. Um, not concentrated in one place. Um, Taylor Corbett was out with his uncle fluke fishing in Sandy Hook just earlier this week and saw the bluefish come, was able to switch tactics real quick, throw some poppers, had a blast on some of those small bluefish. So the bluefish are chasing baits um, and they're actually in the back bays as well. I told you getting those snappers. There's also striped bass and weak fish chasing baits up on the flats. I'm here in my buddy's backyard because as soon as the sun sets, I'm going to do a little popping for some fish because he this is one thing this is funny. He shares this on Facebook. I'm in the middle of the night and the fish are keeping me awake. Well, guess where I'm going to be the first opportunity I get. Those fish are chasing uh, baits on the flats. You can get an opportunity now. The peanuts are in there, the finger mullet, so a lot of fish are chasing baits up on the flats. You can get out along the bulkhead and give them heck. Um, reappearance of weak fish this season. It's been a terrific year. Dave on the high flyer out of Barnegat has been hitting some weak fish throughout the summer. He was grass shrimping, six pound test, um, eighth ounce jig heads. He's been doing it all summer longs. Moppy here, she was out with Dave earlier this week and they hooked up with some of those weak fish on the west side of Barnegat Bay, so they're there. Another Barnegat Bay captain tells me about some findings that he's had. Alex Majewski, Majewski of Lighthouse Sport Fishing um, in Back Bay, one of his charters hooked up with this fat little squid. If you're hooking up with a squid on your hooks, you might as well use the squid and the squid imitations down low because you're going to catch those fluke on there as well. Another interesting catch, Adelie Mer uh, Merkel, she netted this one off the dock at Gap Cove in Barnegat Bay at night. Was wondering what it was. It's a young of the year cobia. You saw the 72 pounder that George Gilbert caught last week. He's going to be on the cover of next week's edition, but this is a young of the year cobia. No telling what you're going to find 
when we've got this warm water, this tropical water, all kinds of tropical visitors. Offshore, um, closer near shore waters, um, we don't have the sea bass this summer, but a lot of boats have been getting in on the cod action this summer. Jerry Lombardo is one of those guys, 16 miles east of Manasquan, using clam and caught a nice 26 pound um, cod. It was one of several catches they've had. Now, if you want to continue to go farther offshore, yellowfin bite has been sketchy this year. Best reports that we're getting so far in Karen Wall's offshore report, yellowfin at the Bacardi. Of course, this has been the summer of Big Eye, of course, and uh, this past weekend was the Mid-Atlantic Tournament out of Cape May and Ocean City, Maryland. Congratulations to Adam LaRosa and the crew of the Canyon Runner. Scored more than $200,000 in this year's tournament on the eyeballs. Big Eye fishing, 199 pound Big Eye is what netted Adam and the crew all that cash. And of course, congratulations to the Yako Boys, $78,000 for their Mid-Atlantic Big Eye hookup. Uh, Got to thank Captain Mike for sharing his secrets in the August edition of the Fisherman Magazine on scoring with those big eyes. Now, let me remind you, if you're fishing this week up on the Raritan, keep a lookout. Um, a 40-foot commercial vessel out of Belford went down uh, earlier this week. Um, our condolences and prayers out with those folks. But um, that one went down in Sandy Hook Channel near the 14 buoy Tuesday night into Wednesday. If you're out there today, Thursday, Friday, be cautious, because I'm sure they're going to be working on that quite a bit, um, at least a couple of days um, as that, that vessel went down. Sun is setting on our August and our summer, but of course, the sun rises on the best time of year. It always has been better in September, so we're approaching that time. Enjoy your final weekend of August fishing. Get out there for the doormats. Enjoy the time with the kids before they go back to school, but we are looking at the best time of year, September in the fall run, which is why I'll tell you, of course, the September issue of the Fisherman Magazine, our surf special, is on newsstands. You subscribers, it's probably on your coffee table right now. Read it up, catch them up, and I'll see you next week here at thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.